So I'm here with creative director um, of Nigerian fashion brand Jewel by Lisa, Lisa Falaya. Thank you very much for being here with me today. Thank you. So how did you start Jewel by Lisa? Well, after having my first, my daughter, my first child in 20, 2003, um, I decided to take a year off work and I was practicing as a lawyer then. And in this year, you know, having a child and being at home, not doing much, uh, uh, my friend and I decided to come together and um, just put our heads together and think of ways we could um, maybe just do something in Nigeria, make, make something, you know, in Nigeria. And of course, we're ladies, we love fashion. I've always loved fashion. And of course, the first idea was to do something with fashion. Before this, I had toyed with the idea in my mind, but never anything so concrete. But this time I, I was actually ready to, to play a role, should I call it. Um, my friend had her foot in, in the fashion industry because she had started doing some jewelry. She'd been doing jewelry for a while. So uh, it, was, it was quite organic that this was the direction that we'll go towards. Um, at that point in time as well, it was coincidental, coincident, coincidental and um, advantageous to us that there was this ban on the importation of fabrics into Nigeria and the fact that we were taking a step into fashion. Of course, fabric uh, materials is one of the first things you think about. Mm -hmm. And so it did make sense to us to work with our indigenous fabric, the Ankara. Um, people would argue though that does the Ankara really belong to Nigeria? The Nigerian Ankara does, and this is the fabric that we worked with. Um, it's rich in color and texture and and print and I love print and but and this is also very old fabric mm -hmm. and it's loved by our mothers and grandmothers great grandmothers in West Africa and um, you know we'd never seen it used in any way that we thought was appealing to uh, the the younger generation then those who were maybe more um, fashion forward thinking and and more modern with ideas and I mean I love fashion and for me it was trying to take this old fabric this um, people would even say um, not, not cheap I won't use that word but over familiar fabric mm -hmm. and, and make it something quite special and, and desirable once again and fashion forward and modern mm -hmm. and um, th this was the, the job I, I undertook but because I love clothes I love fashion I am not formally trained as a designer in any way but I felt that I had such great ideas and I had such a passion for for fashion <laughs> but I did have this passion to to say something in the industry to have um, a positive effect play a positive role in how people saw dressing you know mm -hmm. changing people's ideas and mindsets and and also to make something that was uh, local mm -hmm. and, and make it um, international and global and this was what it was I had always said when we started Jewel by Lisa like I said in 2000 it was actually 2004 mm -hmm. I was not going to limit it to the shores of Nigeria or Africa but I was going to make this brand from our African fabric retexturize it modernize it and make it something global okay so um who is the target market um for Jewel by Lisa I, I, I say that every woman, I, for me, I feel that any wo woman um, from um, however young be your early teenage years, I think any woman who understands fashion and, and however old, as far as I think you have, you have some sort of youthful exuberance and you know yourself and you are also quite adventurous and, and playful because at the end of the day, I think fashion, I mean, it is serious for us as fashion designers, but I think fashion should be playful. Mm -hmm. I think it should be you, um, uh, you know, taking adventures into or venturing into the unknown for some people. I um, so I think for me, <coughs> from young, from a sixteen-year-old, fourteen, fifteen-year-old, thirteen-year-old, um, to a seventy-year-old, and this is my clientele. I have women from all walks of life, <coughs> and I'm um, sorry about it. All walks of life and um, who, who, who do understand fashion and who understand the coolness of fashion because that's kind of what we're about. Um, okay, so um, who do you find your, your fashion label, Mojo by Lisa, appeals to? <coughs> um, um, I would say the fashion forward um, woman. I would 
say she ranges from the age like the ages I mentioned earlier. So um, a young teenage girl who who loves to play with clothes, who who wants to to stand up, who wants to be different, um, who 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 loves style. You know, I I think that I appeal to these young girls as well as women such as myself in late twenties, early thirties, late thirties. 40s, 50s, I, I, I appeal to women who just have an understanding of fashion. Okay, that's great. Um, so I know that in the fashion industry, <coughs> excuse me, in the fashion industry, um, there's an ideal um, body image used to, well, basically promote fashion. Definitely. So um, do you think that the media plays a major role on self-esteem for young women? Yeah, I mean, I, I think those are two two questions. I would take them. Mm -hmm. I think that yeah, of course, in the fashion industry, we are conversant with the fact that models are usually tall and slimmer than the average shaped lady you would see any given day. Um, I, as a designer, of course, I have my fit models. I have my runway mo runway models who walk for our shows, and yes, indeed, they are taller. They are slimmer, um, and this the reason for this. I have to be honest, is just the fact that the clothes hang on these mm -hmm. people. I think that as a designer, you, you if, if you see your clothes in a certain way, and to be honest, models who are tall and who, who have the gracefulness, and, and there's just something about a model and the height and, and just the clothes hanging, and it allows you to see your vision through, mm -hmm. you know? And I think that this is the reason why, and I think this is the reason why women, from watching runway shows because on a model the clothes hang the way they are to hang it's like clothes on a hanger mm -hmm. in a store in your closet you know they hang the way they and, and that's the the truth and women from of all shapes and sizes come to these shows and that's what they see and then they desire those pieces mm -hmm. so yes indeed of course the media now i mean i think that because this is what you see constantly and of course the media from from TV to your magazines, and this is all you see. You see the fashion models in editorials, you see runway shows on TV, or even just advertisements, and you see who they use. I, Of course, you have girls who, and women, who, who believe as a result of maybe a lack of self-esteem or, or just constantly being bombarded with these images. As a result of that, maybe, maybe lack some sort of confidence or that confidence level in them drops thinking that this is how they should look. Mm -hmm. um, I don't believe in that because I don't look like that, <laughs> but I work, I work with these models every day. Mm -hmm. um, many years ago, well, not too many, but a few years ago, there was a, a debate and um, like a public outcry, I remember, when um, designers were using quite anorexic girls on the runway and, and you see some images in, in magazines and it was just unhealthy looking mm -hmm. girls now this is where i think there is a problem if a designer is promoting unhealthy looking girls or you see editorials with girls who look unhealthy anorexic then i think that these are the things that do have a very negative effect on body image mm -hmm. but most importantly i do believe that it's uh, it's it's about your own confidence levels i think that every girl from when she's little um should really be be um I don't have confidence should be built about how she looks. And you know, with body image, I think for, most importantly, it's about health. You know, it's about being healthy, mm -hmm. um, as opposed to your size, or, or am I thin enough, am I big enough? I mean, because, you know, we're in Africa, mm -hmm. we I'm a designer in Africa, and honestly, contrary to what you see in other parts of the world, in Africa, women want to be quite rounded yeah. and healthy looking and have big hips and, mm. and, and so you know what and, and when you're smaller then you might even lack some sort of confidence because you think oh my gosh I should have bigger hips I should have this and yeah. I should, you know so but I so I think that you know it, it can never this body image thing can never be solved um, I just think that as young women because we are the ones that usually deal with these issues mm. um, I think from a very young age um, it should be drummed into a girl's head that she's beautiful whatever size whatever weight however however tall however short however fair or dark skin long hair short hair how beautiful she is mm -hmm. and most importantly her health mm -hmm. you know is important yes um so do you think that um the fashion industry
Kardashian's approach to body image is changing? Definitely. Oh, you can see. I mean, you have models of all sizes, and you've had that for a while. And even the really slim models are really healthy looking. Mm -hmm. I think that's what's important. And you, on the runways, you see models who are you have you have larger size models. Um, you have average sized girls as models, and then you still, of course, have the really slim mm -hmm. girls because some people are just that way. Mm -hmm. You know, they can't help it. Even some of these models. Even if they ate uh, like you and I, yeah. they would still be bad. Are we going to now say, oh, I'm sorry, because you are so slim, I'm not going to work with you, or I don't want people, you won't be used in an editorial, or be seen on TV, or be seen on, on mm -hmm. a catwalk, exactly. because you're going to send the wrong message. You can't do that, because mm -hmm. then you, you're sidelining them as well. Exactly. But, like you asked, yes, indeed, I think things are changing. It's definitely more positive. Um, you see girls of all sizes modeling clothes in editorials and i think it's great and that also helps people such as myself <laughs> and yourself <laughs> uh, you you can see yourself in the clothes mm -hmm. even more yeah and you can relate okay yes so um what are some steps that do you think that young women should take to um have more positive body image Ooh, what are the steps <sighs> really any steps i just think that this is something that should be with you right from when you're very little i think that you should have positive people around you i think your parents um should uh, should be there i think and i'm a parent and um if i'm going to say this to parents i think fathers and mothers should always tell their daughters and sons how beautiful they are and how great they are i think also um, keeping and staying healthy is important eating right and not because you're not doing it because you want to be slim but you want to be healthy because I think that I mean they're also the we, we see that a lot of kids are obese today we see and we know the health challenges that they they're faced with or they could face in later mm -hmm. life and we even see older people who are obese mm -hmm. and I think that um, they have more the risk of heart disease so many different things so yeah. i think that apart from the fact that it should be um in it should be it should be put into you from you know your parents and people around you positive you know positive words telling you that you're great and you're beautiful i think that health is most important and we watch what we eat and just take care of ourselves and i think that the rest you know will happen <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much for answering. Thank you. This has been fun. Thank, thank you. you.